Provo Beast doing another install today. Today we're doing this on a fishing boat. This is the Northwest Boat Series. Um, basically with this install, we're installing a single DIN Bluetooth radio in this location. And we're gonna be adding four speakers. Now this boat did not come with a stereo already included. So we'll show you how to install the radio, run the wiring, install speakers, and uh, give it a little test. Now, first things first here, we're gonna be installing our radio in this location. The factory provided a pocket for us, but no radio, so we'll use that. Our batteries in this boat are here in the back. So, we'll make sure we draw power from the appropriate location. We'll show you how to install speakers. We're thinking about doing two speakers in this location and two up front. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get our radio in its pocket, run all the cabling needed, and start planning locations for our speakers. So what we're gonna do is start running parallel wire, power and ground from our radio to our batteries there in the back. Now within this install, we're using this 16 gauge parallel wire, and I also picked up about 100 feet of this half inch split loom which will just protect the wire as we run that all the way to the back of the boat. So we're gonna go ahead and start running wire. All right, there's our battery. So I've run our split loom and our power and ground wire. So we'll go to the battery and fish it just back up behind. And there's already wiring up underneath there that I'll zip tie that to. Made its way all the way around to this location. Now your boat may totally be different just do your best, make sure it's clean and won't get in the way and it's protected. All right, just like the power wire, now I've run second loom with my two sets of speaker wire. Now we're also using 16 gauge speaker wire through there along the underside, along the factory loom all the way to the back because we're gonna put our two rear six and a halfs here in the back area. Next here, we're gonna run our speaker wire from our front two speakers and loom those as well. All right, so now run the front two speakers just up through the wall here. This is where we're gonna be mounting one here and one here when we cut into it. Um, around one end of one wire to right there, so there's plenty of length to wherever we decide to actually mount the speaker. And the other one I loomed all the way through and uh, comes out right there, same thing, so we can mount the speaker on the side as well. All right, so at this time, what we'll be doing is here, now taking the wiring harness that came with our radio. So with the radio harness, our power is yellow, our ground is black. So that will hook into our power ground that we've run all the way back to the battery. And of course, we'll put a fuse on it. Then the Red wire, what we're going to use is we've discovered either we're going to use this accessory switch, which isn't used at this time, or put it into the ignition directly. So you have to turn on the key to boot up the radio. Either way, that's the way we're going to trigger the radio to turn on. And then all these other guys that are taped off, we're not going to use because one's the antenna, one's the remote for an amplifier, which we don't have, and the one's for the mute, and then one is for um, steering wheel control. So we won't use those ones. The, the ones that we will use are four colors, the white, gray, green, and purple, positive and negatives. Those are our speaker wires, and that's what's gonna plug them into these four pairs of speaker wires themselves. So in the boat, this will be, this speaker down here will be, Front right, which is gray and gray black. Front left, which is white and white black. Um, rear driver side right, which is purple and purple black. And then rear left passenger side, which is green and green black. So that's really how we're gonna wire that to our wiring harness. Now we're gonna strip the wires strip the wires and use butt connectors to really uh, make sure those are insulated. All right, so I went ahead and got all four of our speaker wires hooked up. Now, like I said, this 
typically this side is white, gray, purple, green. Now black is always negative on those wires. Positive, ground, now our ignition wire. I extended that wire and ran it to this accessory switch wasn't being used. So that will be our radio on switch, which triggers the radio to turn on when the boat is just out um, floating around without the need of having the key on. Now in your situation, you may have a switch or you want to put it in the ignition or it's totally up to you. It's, there's no wrong way. So at this point, we're going to just zip tie and clean up this wire um, and prepare to get the radio in there. All right, so I went and plugged all the harnesses in here. Um, just a side note, I got one of these universal antennas, kind of cool, and just that plugs into the antenna input. Um, I also plugged in the mic, just put that right there. Mic input, it's a Bluetooth radio, so I might as well run it. Um, got that plugged in. Now, here in the back, I went ahead and got our negative on, with the black, and then our positive. If I can show you, right there, this guy, the midline fuse, and then to the positive. This is the type of fuse I use, fuse holder, just got them on Amazon. Put a 10 amp fuse in there. So, switch this on. This ring on. There we are. Good to go. Pretty cool. And then if I switch that off, boots down. Next thing here, let's go ahead and start cutting holes for speaker. All right. At this point, I am underneath the area where I'm going to place both speakers. I just kind of made a template so I can mark on both sides. So they're evenly spaced, cut a hole with a 5 inch hole saw, and uh, I got my Kenwood speaker. Now go ahead and check out the unboxing of these marine speakers, fit. they work great. So we're going to go get those tightened down, get the wiring in the back hooked up to them. Alright, got my speaker wire through, got my positive and negative all hooked up, and let's mount the speaker. All right, there we are. Speaker all mounted. Got the other side done as well. Got to do a little vacuuming. But radio's on. <laughs> Sounds good. Just the radio. Nice thing is we have a little antenna for it. So what we're going to do is now work on the back speakers. All right, back speakers are in. Same principle as the front. Just cut the holes, mount on the speakers, got everything wired. Thanks guys for watching the channel. We do appreciate your support. That's it for the video here today. If you have any questions about what you saw us install, just go ahead and post a comment below. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.